Hey guys, composite bows are probably the most complicated primitive bows to make. We offer several options for the do-it-yourselfer that simplified versions that so everyone, or at least most everyone, can enjoy. But if you're interested in the best that I can offer, then you probably want to take a look at my sinew composites. They are a different animal altogether, and we're going to get into that right now. So I want to take a minute and basically do a comparison for you guys of both models, the horse bow and my recurve. I also want to talk about the giveaway, but we'll get to that in, in a little bit. So, which one should you choose? As far as physical weight goes, you know, how much they weigh in the hand, they're both extremely light bows. Their size comparison, as you can see, both of these bows are about the same length and will draw the same. The horse bow itself has more performance to offer. They're both more than enough to get the job done. But the horse bow has a balance situation going on that if you're not familiar with composite bows, then you probably have no idea what I mean by balancing the bow or training the limbs. And that is a process that goes on. It's part of the reason these bows, composite bows, take so long to make is because there's a lot of preparation and cure time. There's a lot of work that goes into just making them. But then after the fact, once they've cured, once they are ready to be tillered, that process takes quite a while. And I have to make sure that after several months of curing, before I put a finish on it, that this bow is well balanced and well trained and tillered to what I need it to be. Because that could change depending on the seasons of the year. Mother Nature kind of calls the shots with these composite bows up until they're finalized and have a finish put on them there could be drastic changes. But after the finish is applied, then you're going to see changes throughout the year on both models, but there'll be small weight increases and decreases throughout the year depending on the seasons. And that all has to do with relative humidity. So the process of training these, shooting these in, balancing them, and making sure they're stable enough to hand off to the customer takes many more months than it does to just make, say, one of my my bow kits, my horse bow kits. The horse bow has more of a rounded grip. The deflex recurve has a contoured grip. But the balancing of the limbs is only on the horse bow. So here's one with snakeskin. Some sinew reinforcements at the sea tips. And we have the birch bark covering. Taking all that in consideration, as I said, they are a different animal altogether. I promise that the performance is substantially different. Uh, the sinew, I use it for performance aspects, not as a backing. It's part of the, the overall design, and it allows me to go to, into great performance areas with my bamboo. I think you're going to love it. So, if you have any more questions about these, you know where to find me. If you've got one on order, awesome. All right, so how they feel when you draw and shoot them. Let's see. My favorite is the horse bow, but I'm very used to it. That was the first one that I picked as my personal bow out of these two models years ago. And it was just because of the little bit of extra performance aspect. But there is a lot of, like I said, you have to adjust its profile, you have to balance it every time, but I don't want you to think that that sounds like a lot of work. If you're a capable person and you can look at things and you have a careful uh, eye, then you will notice it, it will become second hand, it will be like your pet, and every time you string it up you'll know exactly where it needs a little correction and then you're on your way. Um, if you're not that type of person, then get the recurve. Anyway. The way they feel when you draw them. The horse bow has early string tension and it constantly smoothly builds and then there's a little bit of relaxation and let off in the end. That's the draw. The recurve has a little less early string tension and constantly just gradually builds in its power, in its draw, all the way to its peak. The shooting is slightly different, and 
The horse bow will spit a little faster. They both have very quick, on point, follow the eye type movement and accuracy. They're very quick pointing bows, very flat trajectory. Um, you know what? Let me just show you some shooting. How about we do that? All right, so stringing these bows, there's two options. It used to be just one option uh, until I created a bow stringer specific to these bows with the Sia's. So yes, there's a bow stringer that you can use, and it, use, it works equally as good for either model. Or you can use the step in, also known as the step through method. If you're not familiar with that, you can find that information on my website. And um, there I might even show you a quick little clip right here of me doing it. If you're not comfortable with stepping through something, you don't have good balance, you're missing a leg or something, then, you know, get a stringer. You can still shoot and enjoy these bows. I don't know if you've seen my recent crossbow video. <laughs> but uh, I'll include a link down below in the description for you to check that out. Might be a good, fun kit to do over the holidays. Just saying. So... What's the meat archery thing all about? Well, let's face it, I don't make longbows anymore. If you like these, I have them on my site now too, and t-shirts, so pick yourself one up. Let's see, what else am I forgetting? Oh yeah, the giveaway. Okay, so the giveaway. That's gonna be, that's gonna start when I post my next video, which will be later this week. So all you need to do right now is make sure you're subscribed to me, to my channel, and you hit the bell to be notified of when that next video pops. Now, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two giveaways. If this giveaway gets a lot of interest, then I'll start doing giveaways again. And I'll do bigger ones. I plan on doing some pretty good sized giveaways. Subscribe, like, comment, let me know your thoughts, share it so it gets a lot of interest. And we'll see what happens. The giveaway is going to be a $300 store credit with my store. So you can, in the meantime, you can go to my website, meadlongbows.com or meadarchery.com. Also, the link will be down below in the description, and you can start looking and checking out what it is that you would like. And hopefully you win. I'll see you guys in the next video. Here's something funny that you guys might get, get a kick out of. Uh, my wife told me to remember to smile. This is kind of my board of notes and things to cover. And uh, apparently she says I look like a psychopath, angry person, serious serial killer in my videos. So uh, hopefully you guys disagree. But I tried my best today. If I didn't smile enough, sorry.